All right, we're going to take a look at the tech chart package. First, we need to install it from GitHub. So first, install DevTools. Next, we're going to install TechChart from GitHub, and this is the function that we're going to use. Let's go ahead and run that. Click yes. Here, you have to install our tools first. So if you don't have our tools installed, you'll get this error. And now we're just installing our tools. I'm gonna go ahead and restart R. So I restarted R. So now let's give it a try. So here we're going to update all. So here's it's compiling all the C++ scripts. So it looks like it compiled everything. I'm just going to require tick chart. We've successfully installed tech chart. All right, so we're going to build a function to where we just need a ticker they'll get the data and return any patterns. Get patterns. So for the data, we're just gonna use get symbols I just want recent data. Here we'll test it out. So in order to get the patterns, we need to use find pattern from tech chart. We're going to pass in the data. And for the pattern we're trying to find, we're going to try and find all. And currently, it is limited to these four here. So here we're going to try and find all. And what this does 
is I'm going to use L apply. So here I'm using L apply to pass in these numbers one to four, which represent uh, any of these four. So it'll iterate and then return the ones that it did find. So if so, if it's not null, it means it found a pattern. Here I'm going to return the name of the pattern as a data frame. Copy this. Here I'm going to return the duration. Next, I want to return the type. Next, all the data relevant to that pattern. Finally, the dates. After we get that, going to combine everything using cbind change the column names data pattern duration status ticker and date matched and then return all of it. next I want to combine the patterns but first I need to get rid of the empty empty list. So we're going to use L apply length greater than zero. We're going to R bind this list using R bind list. We're going to require a data table first. Temp. Use names true, and then just return temp. All right, so there's our function. Go ahead and run this. So we'll go ahead and test it out. Alright, so we'll view our data here, and it looks like it found two different patterns. One was a broadening top, the other one was a broadening bottom. So here it started on, on April 14th, it completed on the end of April for a total of 16 days, and then the next one was a broadening bottom, started on the 21st of April, completed May 4th for a total of 13 days. So now we want to take a look at this in detail to see how it played out.
Right, so this is what our broadening top looks like for Amazon. Here we're going to research we're going to research how this pattern should play out. So it should look something like this. Now if we change the date. So it looks like this was 430 and it actually kept going higher it did decline for a bit this was the broadening top it did decline the next two days but then from there it kept rising now let's look at the second pattern so it said it found a broadening bottom here and as we saw previously That one actually did work, it kept rising. So again, these are not 100% accurate, but it's pretty good at finding these patterns within the data. So we'll take a look at another one. So it didn't find any for Apple. So it found some for the Dow Jones ETF. So it found one pattern, head and shoulders pattern. Take a look. So I found this head and shoulders pattern. And we'll see how it played out. So here we see our head and shoulders. This was the neckline here. Looks like it did decline for about three days, but then it gapped up and now we're trading around here. So that's how you find patterns using tech chart. We're gonna dive into the package and see what other functions we can play around with. But for now, this is it. So let me know if you have any questions and jot down your comments. Once again, thanks for watching.